Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. President Barack Obama actually was the first president to bring in Hindu gods into the White House and have a worship service with a devil-worshipping Hindu guru in the White House where he worshipped the goddess of wealth and actually served idols. Take a look at this video. Barack Obama was the first U.S. president to celebrate Diwali in the White House. White House Dia. And wish you all a happy Diwali and a Sal Mubarak. So. Not only that, but President Barack Obama also carried an idol of a false Hindu god in his pocket with him. Then I got this is this is a Hindu. Uh, little statuette of uh, the monkey god Hanuman that uh, a woman gave me. Here's what the Bible says in Revelation 9 verse 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Now what's really interesting about this verse is that it takes place in the future. This is Revelation chapter 9 where the trumpets are being sounded and God's wrath is being poured out on this earth. So this is way off in the future and yet even in the future the Bible is telling us that men will be worshiping devils and idols of gold and idols of silver and so forth. And this right here shows that idolatry is going to be big in the end times because it's the number one sin that God lists as why he's pouring out his wrath. So this goes to show that Hinduism's not going anywhere. Hinduism is going to increase in the end times. It's not going to decrease. Because even in the time of the Antichrist, this kind of idolatry and image worship is going to be huge. And if you think about it, Hinduism is actually a religion that's perfect for the New World Order. It's perfect for the end times because they're going to easily embrace the Antichrist since their religion already teaches them that they can worship all these different gods, and still kind of focus on one supreme being while still retaining their elephant god idol and their monkey god and, and all the different gods that they have. So it's actually going to fit in perfectly with the Antichrist religion. It's going to fit in perfectly as an end times religion of worshiping the devil.